Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to No Normal Films. Today we're going to be continuing our iMovie tutorials and we're going to be going over content library and we're going to, first thing we're going to cover is transitions. So let me open up iMovie and uh, this is the new, the new iMovie layout just in case you're new and you're joining us. Um, this is uh, going to be 10.0. I'm actually running on iMovie 10.0.1 which is the new version that came out on top of the new Mavericks version of iMovie, which that the way I just said that probably didn't make much sense. But what I'm gonna do in this tutorial, you guys, is I'm gonna cover the content library transition section, and uh, I'm not gonna cover too many at once because I kind of want to discuss every aspect of it. That way, everybody knows how to use it, and I, I'm not rushing myself through every single tutorial. But be sure to check out my previous tutorials. Last tutorial we, cre we covered, uh, I believe it was a video and audio effects which is a really cool in under adjustments be sure to check out those tutorials but let's begin right away i'm gonna go straight into transitions but first before we do transitions we have our clip here that we've been working on for a while now and uh what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go down to my events area where i have my additional footage that i've recorded and uh what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add an additional section of, of clips so i'm gonna select this clip here let's do about 10 seconds exactly and I'm going to hit this little plus sign to add it straight into our project. Now we got an additional 10 seconds. I'm going to minim small, make this a little bit smaller that we can see. And uh, I'm going to open up my transitions and show you guys how the transitions work. Now, the way iMovie 10 offers a lot of transitions, just like it's basically the same ones iMovie, the previous version of iMovie had. You can see some of them right here. By simply going swiping over them, you'll see the transition in the works and you'll see how they work. And this is actually a really cool feature. It was it was available in the old version of iMovie as well, but it's I find it a lot smoother in this version. So there's there there are a limited amount. There's not you don't have like a, a whole bunch, hundreds of them. But I, I like a small selection. That way I don't have to like keep searching. I'm like, oh I wanna find a different one, different one, different one. So there's only a few here, but they all they all work. The black and white is fade to white, fade to black is uh one of the common ones. But if you're trying to do something really creative, this is you know, this is one right here, the mosaic. I, I believe I'm not saying that correctly. But if you all you gotta do is simply just drag, you select the clip you the transition you want and drag and drop it. And I'm gonna put it on the end here first. And I want you guys to notice that this clip here is exactly ten seconds long, the one we just entered or put in our project. So I'm gonna drag this and drop it right here. Now you can notice that it went down to nine seconds exactly. That's because this transition is taking up a second in itself. Now you can change the length of the transition by double clicking it and it will actually let you choose what, how, how long you want the transition to last. Now you gotta take in mind that whenever you add the transition it will take one second of that clip. Now let's say you put the transition in between the two clips. Now you should understand that it takes five seconds of this clip and five seconds. Oh, I mean not five seconds. 0.5 seconds. Not, yeah, that's way too much. It's 0.5 seconds of each clip. So now you can see that it both. You can see that this transition is going, and it goes right into this trans into this this next clip here, and uh, that's actually very important because sometimes. Whenever you're doing a transition, you don't you don't take in mind that it's taking off 0.5 seconds of your clip and turning it into a transition. And uh, when you're talking, it actually like let's say you wanted something to finish, like you were saying something and you wanted to finish that sentence. Now you weren't able to finish it because you just cut it off with the 0.5 second transition. So it's sometimes it's good in mind when you're adding clips and going back to your events and you add your clips make sure if you want to do transition you add an extra maybe 0.5 seconds that you aren't really going to use and then drag it and drag it in and then put the transition and that way that 0.5 seconds will be used in the transition and i hope i didn't confuse you guys there too much but if you have a question below be sure to ask me i will i will do my best to explain it in the comments as well but yeah that's the transition and as you can see i'm going to turn down the volume in this so i don't interrupt myself but you, I'm gonna play this and you'll see the transition transition actually going in there. It's actually really smooth. I, I love it. It's nice and easy, but and it actually adds an additional effect to the footage itself. Makes it more uh, gets gets more uh, entertaining to watch when you have a uh, cool transitions between clips or edits or like of what you're presenting or showing. So that is definitely recommended. And that is basically it of the transitions. Like I said, you can simply double click them 
and it will tell you how how long how far I mean how long you want the transition to last and uh, you can actually put it to apply to all transitions meaning what that means is you make this five seconds and then you add additional transitions into your project you can hit apply all transitions that means all your transitions will be one second long also if you go to if you're in your iMovie the I mean in your project and uh, you'll be able to actually see and you got your events library open and then you and then you click your double you double click your uh, transition you have this mosaic you actually click on this it will put you straight into the transitions area I mean window where you can actually change and exchange the transition if you don't like the current one you have and now you see now I have a different transition in here because I just swapped it and there you guys have it that's it for transitions hope you guys Learn something new from this tutorial, be sure to uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. And if you have any other questions, be sure to leave a comment below as well. Thank you guys for watching, and later. Let my life be the proof. The proof of you.